Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you exactly how to block an email address. So if you're receiving emails and you don't want to receive emails from that person or that email address, this will show you exactly how to block that. And I want to show you three very simple ways to do this. And I'll show you in detail how to do each step. And this works on any type of device where you receive emails. So it works on a computer, tablet and smartphone. Now I do this all the time to block email addresses that I can't unsubscribe from. So I previously made a video showing you how to unsubscribe from emails because some emails like newsletters let you unsubscribe from those. So I'll put that video in the description below this video so you could watch it after this. So unsubscribe from unwanted emails that way. And then those that don't have that option, this is the perfect solution for completely blocking them. And there are a few different ways that I'm going to cover for blocking unwanted emails. The first one I'll use Gmail and Gmail makes it pretty straightforward for blocking email addresses. All you have to do to block an email address is open up the email here that you want to block. And then typically you'll get these three dots over here and then you could go ahead and block the sender. So that will block whatever email address this is tied to. Now there is an option here as well under settings. You could go to the settings and click on all settings. And then there is an option called filters and block addresses. Here you will see everything that you've blocked previously. They will all show up over here under the following email addresses are blocked. They will all show up over here. So if you decide to unblock any of them at any point, you could do that on this page. Now to block an unwanted email on a phone, here I'm on the iPhone in the Gmail app, you do the exact same thing. You just open the email, press the three dots right here and choose block and it ends up in the same place that I showed you previously once you block that email. And if you use the mail app here on your iPhone or iPad, you could also do that there. Simply open the email, press on the sender, so the from address, and then you could go ahead and block it from this page as well. Block this contact and that will block that contact as well. And the third option that can save you more time is by using third party apps like clean email. With clean email, you can sign up with multiple different email addresses and not just one. And then you can manage and control all your emails here in one place, in one page basically. This service works with Gmail, but it also works with other providers as well. So you could use it with Yahoo, Outlook and more. So to block an email address with clean email, again, you simply open up the email here that you want to block. And there is the option right here, right on top of that email, just press block and then choose block here and it will block every email sent from that email address. Now you could go to this page as well. It's called auto clean. If you click here, you could see all the blocked emails here. So you could pause or delete that rule if you don't want to continue to block that email address or edit your setting here at any time. Now I prefer clean email for blocking emails because I could combine multiple different email addresses. For example, I could see my Gmail and my Outlook here and my work email all in one place. And you could jump here to the unsubscribe option and unsubscribe to unwanted email. So I use those in combination, unsubscribing from unwanted emails and blocking those that I can unsubscribe from. I'll also include a 10% discount code in the description below this video to clean email. And it's that easy to block emails on any device. And I will put the link to the video where it shows you how to unsubscribe from unwanted emails. So do that first and then block the emails that you cannot unsubscribe from. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow videos just like this one. And I'll see you next time.